Hey, welcome back. It's Matt with another tool haul video. Today I have some antique store finds and some thrift store finds, and the thrift store finds are, I think, pretty good uh, for the price that I paid for them. And the antique store stuff, usually when I get the stuff from the antique store, I pay about market value for it. And I usually don't get anything from the antique store unless it's in really good shape. So let's start with the antique store stuff. And then we'll get to the uh, the nice finds that I got at the thrift store here. So we'll start off on the left here. Um, I got this uh, black pulley over here. And I just thought it was cool. I like the shape. And I don't know what era this is from. I've never really messed with pulleys before. Block and tackle or anything. But uh, I thought it was cool. But whatever. I paid twelve ninety five for this. I don't know if that was a good deal or not. But I just said, what the hey, I'm going to get that. So I picked that one up. And then uh, I saw this one at, there's two an antique stores in my neighborhood. So I went to the other one and got this one at the other one. And this one was $7. So I think I got a pretty good deal on this one. Um, it all functions. It's got this other little pulley hanging down on here. So um, I've always been fascinated with pulleys. And I'm going to have to do some research. I never really set any anything up like this before. So I like to mess around with them and... Just, again, thought they looked cool. I like the hook on this one. Just a pretty cool looking hook. Um, I don't think it's too, too old, but uh, whatever. Figured I'd snag it up. Alright, let's start from the left here. Uh, crescent wrench here, in pretty decent shape. Jaw looks good. Moves freely. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, it is a crescent crescent brand adjustable wrench. Come on, focus. Um, and that one uh, does say Jamestown, New York on it. So I thought it was in pretty good shape. So I snagged that up. I paid $7 for that. You know, probably a little too much. But I thought it was nice. So I snagged it. What we have here is an old Ford box wrench. Again, I thought that was pretty cool. And I paid uh, six bucks for this. And that's probably, you know, a little much, a little excessive, but it's in good shape. I can see the, the lettering on it pretty good. The Ford is a little bit smushed, but it's not too bad. The, you know, the wrench flats look good. So I picked that up. And uh, this one, this is one of my favorite from the, uh, from the antique store. Got herself a Billings. 607 inch and a sixteenth and it's a, a thin one so really nice service wrench I always pick these up uh, if I don't have one if they're in uh, good shape and uh, I was missing an inch and a sixteenth in my set so now I got that one to add to it and uh, I paid twelve ninety five for that one so that's definitely uh, definitely up there probably what it's worth but for a tool that I'm going to use I'll pay that for it, especially if it's in, in good shape there. It looks like it's barely been used. has a lot of paint left on it, so I didn't have a problem paying that much for that wrench. If you go and buy, try to buy a set of service wrenches like this right now, you're, you're going to be paying for them, especially if they're USA made. So I think I, think I got, it, got a deal on it. And we got in ourselves a little quarter-inch Craftsman combination wrench. And that one's in pretty good shape. And it is an E, and I believe that's a Stanley. Uh, Stanley is the maker of the E. But uh, I don't really like that Stanley. The box end is just really, really thick. Why won't you focus? Get in there. All right. But yeah, the box end, compared, if you compared this to another one, you'd see that this is like oversized. There's too much meat on here. It doesn't have to be there, especially on a quarter inch. But either way. I snagged that up. I think this was a dollar. Yeah, this was a buck. So, can't beat that for a dollar. And I got this Industro combination, 7 16 in really good shape. A little bit of surface rust on it, but this thing will clean up nicely. Looks like it's been barely, barely been used, maybe once or twice. In really good shape. So, I like that. I picked that up. This one, it was a dollar. So, I was happy about that. And the strangest thing that I found at the antique store was this wrench here. 
and uh, so anybody out there knows anything about this style wrench let me know there's no brand on it, it just says made in the USA 7 8 if you can see that and it's a box wrench but the end is uh, is definitely interesting I was kind of looking at this going what is this and then I grabbed it and uh, it turned and uh, this is a cap on here and it unscrews and uh, yeah solo down in there come on focus you're not gonna be able to see down in there but I just thought that was interesting and weird I have never seen one of these before if anybody knows what these are used for uh, is this they're supposed to be you know uh, an attachment on here for leverage or something I don't know but uh, they had two of them there and they were all about they're both the same shape so but uh, I figured I'd snag that up because uh, I have no idea no idea what that's for and I paid two dollars and fifty cents for that so I couldn't pass it up it's something that I don't have something unique maybe it's not unique maybe there's thousands of these out there but I'd never seen one so we'll add that to the collection all right now the rest of this stuff here I got at the thrift store so all of these sockets all of these wrenches and this uh, socket strip down here I got and I paid 13 bucks for all of this stuff and there's some goodies in here some pretty nice stuff so oh uh, let's see here let's start with the wrenches I guess this is my first gray so if you never heard of gray it's a Canadian Air a uh, company it's got the nice uh, leaf on there and that's a C89 half inch 9 sixteenths and uh, I just had to snag that up and I don't know what I paid for all of these I didn't get a receipt for it I just you know I rounded up and said whatever so I don't know 13 13 bucks there's more than 13 things here I don't know maybe 50 cents a piece for everything or you know 60 cents a piece I don't know do the math count them figure it out I don't know I don't really care I think I scored big on it so got ourselves a Hinsdale open end 9 16 half inch in okay shape a little bit of damage on that one a little bit of rusting but I don't really have uh, this era Hinsdale wrench so I figured I'd snag that one up got ourselves here a uh, box and that is a true test I believe yeah that's what it says true test T 6518 9 16 half inch it doesn't say USA on it. Um, it's got an A right there. I should look at my other true test wrenches. Uh, see if this is a USA or not. Not sure. But uh, I always like the box wrenches, so I snagged that up. And uh, this is interesting. I normally don't buy uh, bent wrenches, but uh, it's a Husky. It's got that weird logo on it. It's a metric. It's a USA. It looks like it's in pretty good shape and you know every once in a while I need to bend a wrench so I figured why not just buy one pre-bent you know it was you know 50 60 cents or whatever so I didn't really mind so I picked that up and then I also got this little Indestro and uh, it is a what is that? 40809. And uh, this is a metric. 8mm, 9mm. So I couldn't pass that by for an old uh, old metric wrench. So I thought that was pretty cool and in decent shape as well. And then this wrench right here I think paid for all of this stuff. We have a ratcheting, ratcheting box wrench end. And it is a Blackhawk BW. 3260L. It's got a little bit of use out of it, but but barely. It's in pretty good shape. It ratchets good. It has this little uh, push button, you know, lock this in kind of deal to move that around and lock it in place. You know, rather than like a detent ball that you can move that'll move on you, it locks it in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's a 10 millimeter. Use those all the time. Um, I, this is probably Taiwan or China or something. It doesn't say on there. Um, but, I mean, 
again, a ratcheting wrench like this, a Blackhawk, probably anywhere from $10 to $15. So I think that definitely, definitely paid for all of that. So I'm going to hang on to that. That's going to definitely get used. All right, let's talk about this socket strip here. Um, I bought it because I can use this strip. It had these uh, Taiwan sockets on there. Don't really care about those. But it had these really nice Isco Esco quarter inch sockets. And I think I have everything but an 11, you know, 3 eighths down to, yeah, whatever, uh, 3 sixteenths. And uh, it's missing the 11 30 seconds, I think. But uh, they're all in pretty good shape, except for one. Yeah, this one is missing some finish uh, on the end of it. But uh, they're all in pretty good shape. So figured I'd snag that up. All right, let's get to these loose sockets here. We have some Master Mechanics, I believe these are. Yeah, Master Mechanics. I got uh, two 9 sixteenths of the same flavor. 12.3 ace drive. USA Master Mechanic. And I got another one here, 9 sixteenths, 12 point, look at that, true value, buck 29, so if I paid 50 cents for this, definitely got my money's worth, again, a USA. We have some Blackhawk sockets, some older ones here, I believe this one's a 15 millimeter, HW1522, Blackhawk USA, I don't doubt it's the 11 sixteenths, it's got 11 sixteenths, 6 point, 3 ace drive. I think this one's the 15 millimeter. Get in there, focus. This one's in a little rough shape, but a metric nonetheless. 15 millimeter, 6.3 ace drive. So I'll clean that one up, but that'll that'll go in the get used uh, get used bin. Maybe I'll throw that in the uh, the traveling bag. But uh, good flaps on it, good socket. We got a shallow Black Hawk, 13 sixteenths. I just like these step-down ones, you know, they remind me of the snap-ons and the Max. So a nice-looking socket, six-point. All right, and then uh, these four here are all Craftsman. Got a 12-point, 9-16ths, 3 ace drive. And uh, what was that? What letter did we have on there? Is that a, a G, upside-down G. And then I got a 13-millimeter. E, e, which I believe that is Stanley, in the thicker, you know, really thick socket, 3-ace uh, drive, another 3-ace drive, Craftsman 7 sixteenths, and that is a regular facing G, 12 point, 3-ace drive, and uh, this one's pretty nice. 7 millimeter older style rating on there with the millimeter and uh, that's a V so I really like that socket six point quarter inch drive in really nice shape so that's definitely a score there and we have uh, what are these oh these are Thorson's so I got an 11 16 Thorson 322. I think I have one of these already. 12 point, not in bad shape. 3 ace drive. And then I got a half inch drive. What was that? 520? Yeah, 520. 5 ace. 12 point. In decent shape. So, that was cool. And uh, what do we have here? I got a fleet. Yes. A fleet. 1220. 5 ace. Never have enough 5 ace sockets, can you? But in decent shape. 3 ace drive. And these last three sockets are my favorites. We got some Proto Los Angeles. So I got 5016 Los Angeles Proto Manufactured USA. It's got that North Star stamping on there. Half inch. 3 ace drive. 12 point and the other one here same vintage proto Los Angeles with that North Star stamp 5218 9 16th 12 point in decent shape 3 ace drive 
And then my favorite socket, the best of them all, is this. We got ourselves a snap-on. Just hiding in there. The bin at this uh, uh, thrift store, it's just this huge bin. And I normally don't dig through it because it usually is just all Taiwan sockets. And I just kind of glanced over at it and I saw a couple of Craftsmans in there. And I was like, yeah, there might be something in here. And it looked fuller than usual. So I started digging through it and I found some gems. And my hands got full really quick. There's probably some more in there, but I had to get out of there. I had lunch waiting for me, but I think I got the best of this stuff out of there. So let's take a look at this snap on here. It's got the patent number on it. 161F161 USA patent number snap on. It's got the, you know, mid range uh, logo on it. So I, mean, and I think I want to say like the 60s to the. Uh, uh, late 80s, 89 I think is when they stopped using that, maybe 90, uh, half inch. It doesn't have a date code stamped on it that I have seen, so not sure exactly what year it is. I'll have to do a little more research on it, but uh, you know, in good shape, 12 point, 3A drive. Thought that was pretty cool. So I snagged that up. So what do you think? I don't know. I, I think I did pretty good. You know, definitely paid market value for the uh, antique store stuff, but uh, I think I made out pretty good on this uh, thrift store stuff here. Got my first gray. You know, I got a, a nice Hinsdale, a nice ratcheting 10 millimeter that I can use. Uh, and I think we got some good sockets in there. I don't have any Eastco or Esco uh, sockets, so... That's definitely cool. Almost a full set. So I think I did pretty good. What do you think? What was your favorite tool? I don't know what my favorite. It's hard, it's hard to pick a favorite out of this one. But uh, whatever, you know. Like, subscribe. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, go check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.